The optimal angle for any given athlete is going to be somewhat dependent on their strength and power. If we look at the shoulder si hip separation of this athlete here, uh, this is the time course of the throw with this vertical line being release, this vertical line being rear foot touchdown, and this one being front foot touchdown. We see that at rear foot touchdown, the athlete is actually not at maximum shoulder hip separation. But what, what is good here is that we're actually getting an increase in shoulder hip separation through this transition phase. This means that during the period in time between rear foot touchdown and front foot touchdown, this athlete is actively accelerating the, the hip, especially the right side hip, and leaving the right side shoulder behind, essentially uh, creating greater trunk torsion or greater shoulder hip separation. And the athlete actually reaches a peak shoulder hip separation uh, right, right around front foot touchdown. Now note here at release, what we're actually seeing is that the athlete is achieving a value that is almost zero. So that at the moment of release, the athlete's shoulders are almost in a neutral position. This indicates that this particular athlete maximized this kinetic linking phenomenon because this position here, or neutral shoulder position, is actually somewhat indicative of the strong blocking action that is so important for transferring momentum.